everyone, it's Heidi here with another installment of my Cricut Cartridge Review Series. In this episode, I'm going to be talking to you about the new cartridge, Create a Critter. But before I do that, I just want to mention briefly, um, in one of my previous videos, when I had um, talked about the Once Upon a Princess cartridge, I reviewed um, just how to layer the dolls, how to put them together. I'm going to do a full review or a full tutorial of this What's Upon a Princess uh, cartridge. I just haven't gotten to it. And also, um, I'm, I'm going to assemble the castle, the three-dimensional castle. So um, I've been waiting to do that because before I, I'd like to have that finished before I do the video. So that's just a side note. Okay, so on to the Create a Critter. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Create a Critter cartridge. I'm going to show you um, how to assemble the cuts, the main base cut, and also talk to you about the different function buttons on this cartridge. Um, what I did here was I started off with cutting out the little squirrel, which you find on page 32 in the manual. And you'll see right here, here's the base shape of the squirrel. And then the first one, two, three function buttons are all layers for that squirrel or for this base shape. Then if you're going to hit the shift button, you'll get this base shape. And the first three function buttons are the layers for this shape. So let's just start off with the squirrel. So here's the squirrel, and the base of the squirrel is this right here, minus that little swirl that I did for the tail. That's one of the layers, actually. So I cut this squirrel at four inches, and I cut it in brown. Then the first layer is this rusty color piece right here, this rusty color piece. And then the second layer for this squirrel you can see right here is the swirl for his tail. And the third layer of the squirrel is this kind of a beigey color, which is his tummy, his tummy, and it shows his paws. And it goes right up under his nose. So that would be the third function button. So the rusty color is the first function button. The swirl on his tail is the second function button. And his tummy and his, I guess you call it his muzzle, will be the third function button. And they're really simple to layer. I just layered the swirl on first. I layered his tummy and his muzzle onto this rusty piece. And then it's simple as anything just to layer that piece right on there. So it's, they're very simple to um, layer these cuts on this cartridge. I did want to mention that I wanted his tail and the insides of his ears to be like a dark chocolatey brown, but I wanted his eyes, his nose, and his mouth to be black. So very simply, I just took a piece of black cardstock, cut it out so that it would cover the eyes and the mouth, and then just glued it down. So I just did want to show you that. That's why his eyes, nose, and mouth are black. So this is the little squirrel, the base cut, and the first three function buttons. The next function button is called accessories. And this is a great function button because it is all the little accessories for the, for the critters. So for example, for the squirrel, the accessory is the acorn. The main cut of the acorn was this shape of the acorn. Then you hit the shift button and you get the little cap that goes on top of the acorn. But there are lots of really cute accessories in this manual that go right along with the different the different animals that you can cut. So for, um, let's see, for the mouse the accessory is a piece of cheese. For the little poodle the accessory is a little purse. The penguin's got a fish. The whale's got a little starfish. The crab's got a clamshell. Um, but you get the idea. They're really cute little accessories. The monkey has a little vine. So they're really cute accessories that go right along with the critters. Okay, the next function button, the next function button is called the phrase function button and it's right here. And with the squirrel, the phrase was nuts about you. And this 
phrase is kind of neat because it gives you two layers. So you can cut out the nuts about you or the nuts about and then it's like a circle in one color and then the, the word nuts and the you in a second color. So it's kind of nice. You can give it some dimension. So that's this function button right here. It's the phrase function button. Okay. And there's a lot of cute phrases, not only that could be really cute on cards, but also you can use them on layouts as well. Now the last function button on the Create a Critter is the shadow function button. And what I did here was I cut out the mushroom, which is the shift key of the squirrel, the mushroom. And then you can see the black, I hope you can see, there's like a black shadow around it. That I cut from the shadow button. And I did the same with the squirrel. Now this is the shadow for the squirrel. Here's the squirrel. I didn't glue this piece down, but there you go. You can kind of see what, what it's supposed to be. So there it is. There's the shadow for the squirrel. And the shadow for the mushroom. The shadow button is great to use because it gives your cut such nice dimension and just adds another layer to kind of raise it up off the page. So those are the, the function buttons for Create a Critter. I just wanted to show you um, a few examples of the cuts that I made. Now these cuts were all made, well, let's see, we'll start off with the beaver. The beaver was cut at two and a quarter. The hedgehog was cut at two inches. The horse and the monkey were both cut at two and three quarters inches. Now, what I did with these is I used my design studio and I took away the little cuts of the eyes. And then on the monkey, I took away the face cuts, the beaver and as well as the hedgehog with um, hide selected contour on the design studio. Because what I wanted to be able to do was stamp my Peachy Keen face stamps on these critters. Peachy Keen stamps has a brand new uh, stamp set called Critter Faces Set A Medium. And this is an awesome stamp set that gives you an enormous variety of stamps that you can stamp directly, made specifically for these create this create a critter cartridge. So for example, here's the little hedgehog face, the little beaver face with his teeth, so cute. Little eyes for the horse and the little face for the monkey. They're right here. This um, Peachy Keen stamp set also has a pig and a cow. It's got a little owl face, a little chick, a little duck, a little turkey. Um, this is for the little bookworm. It's got so many little cuts. You can use it for the raccoon. You can use it for the bunny. Um, this is a great set to have, stamp set to have, if you have the Create a Critter um, cartridge. So here's an example of some of the animals with their faces stamped with the Peachy Keen stamps. And then I'll just show you a few more examples that I did. This is an example of a scrapbook page that I made, and I used my Peachy Keen stamps on the skunk, the fox, the tree, the deer, the turtle, and the tree stump. But you can see how versatile these stamps are. They're wonderful. And also you can see how I use So Deer. Now that's from the page with the little deer in your, in your, on your Create a Critter. And then I just welded to me using another font from another cartridge. I did this in Design Studio. So, so dear to me. And let's see. Here's a card that I did using my Create a Critter. It's the teddy bear. I welded it in Design Studio and made a little shape card with the teddy bear. Here's another card that is the penguin. And I use my Peachy Keen stamp to do the penguin's face. And 
here's another card with the two pigs. And I used the little Peachy Keen stamps on the piggy faces. And I welded the pigs together in Design Studio. And created the hogs and kisses in Design Studio as well. And here's the last one I did. This one I took away the face of the beaver and I drew my own face. So it's such a versatile cartridge. There's so many ways you can use, you can embellish it. It's just a great cartridge. So I hope you liked my tutorial on Create a Critter and thanks so much for stopping by and please stop by again. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.